yeah, chat GPT's okay, but wouldn't it be good if there was a way that it was more humanized or you could have a face-to-face conversation with it, like a, you know, a real person? Well, perhaps there is. With this app, ChatDID. Okay, so I've used uh, this site before and they're really good at animating avatars to look like they're kind of talking and stuff like that. And I've used it actually to animate a newsreader for some of my live streams on a different channel that I do on my gaming channel. Uh, I've used it uh, here. You'll, You'll see. Hello, hello, this is Yoko. And I'm excited to introduce you to a revolutionary AI technology that is changing the game. Anyway, they've created a kind of an app that allows you to talk directly with chat GPT with an avatar. And here it is uh, here. Let's just run this video and then you'll get an idea. Chat.did lets users talk with an AI. Really talk. No keyboards, no cursors, a face-to-face conversation. You can ask me almost anything. What's a good way to propose to my girlfriend? Read a funny story for my kids to make them laugh. Explain quantum physics to me as if I were a seven-year-old. What is the better baby name, Sarah or Sophia? It's interesting that the questions being asked are actually using some of the voices that they have in their kind of voice animation um, bit that I was talking about. They're kind of other products that they're talking about. But anyway, I think it's the creative reality studio um, stuff. Anyway, the point is, this is the idea is to add a human touch to AI, and this sits on top of Chat GPT. So why don't we give it give it a try and see what it's like? So here we are. Now I've tried it already, uh, and in the free trial here, you get like forty chats. So that's just the conversations you ha- you have. Um, so I've already used one chat to test it out. Look, she's moving. Isn't that uncanny? And I can talk to her. Now, I can talk. You can type away or I can talk to her using the microphone down here. So let's just talk away. Hi there. Um, Are you powered by chat GPT? Oh, it takes a time because she has to sort of process it and then respond. But there's always a bit of a lag. She's thinking about it, though. Hi. Yes, I am powered by GPT, Generative Pre-trained Transformer and Technology, which is a state-of-the-art language model for natural language processing. It allows me to understand and respond to your messages in a way that sounds natural and human-like. Now, the way that her voice sounds isn't too bad. I mean, if you're looking for more expressive AI voices, then definitely check out Eleven Labs. 11 labs and then this kind of combined it's kind of uncanny although i have um seen and heard some other ai voice where you can put in like ums and ahs and laughs and coughs makes it even more real and so i can see that being adapted into things like i'm putting on top of chat gpt anyway there you go so she is um powered by gpt So why don't we just ask you a question again? I'm going to use the microphone, but you can type away. I've been practicing uh, Kui Gong for a while. What are the benefits of Kui Gong? I said Kui Gong. I said said Qi Gong. Qi Gong is a traditional Chinese practice that combines breathing techniques, meditation, and physical exercises to improve health and well-being. The benefits of practicing qigong are many, and they can vary depending on the individual's needs and goals, depending on your individual practice and dedication. Um, okay, so you get you get the idea there. You can have sort of a, a chat. As I say, the one thing is obviously the lag between the question and the response. So it's not quite a natural conversation. Uh, that's something that obviously they'll work on as processing speeds get faster and faster. But it's uncanny. The uh, time it takes to experience oh. the benefits of Qigong can yeah. vary depending on a number of factors, including your individual practice and dedication. Generally speaking, most people report feeling some positive effects after a few weeks of regular practice, while others may take longer to notice significant changes. So there you go. Just a really quick demonstration. There's obviously there's a pricing model as well. Um, 
There's also for developers there. So they've got an API for the real-time animation there. At the moment, um, they've just got this one in the demo. But what you can do with the, the main thing, I go over here. Hey, are you still around? Anything else on your mind? Did you hear that? She's, she's asking me whether I'm still around, and I don't know where she is. Where is she? Where have I put you? Um, yeah, just looking into the products that the ID have. Can you explain? Now, it'll be interesting because this is based on chat GPT, as far as I understand, and obviously that's up to 2021. Does she know her own product? That's the key thing here. Sure. DID is a startup company that specializes in developing advanced technology solutions for humanizing AI. Their products are designed to help businesses and organizations protect their users' privacy by safeguarding their personal data from unwanted exposure or misuse. What they do? One of their flagship products is called the DID Privacy Solution, which uses AI to anonymize facial images and videos while preserving their visual quality. Okay, yeah, and I'm interested in whether that's actually what they did or what they used to do, because now it's very different here. Um, it's very much chat. Maybe I should have put in chat.did. It's interesting. But anyway, here's a price plan here. So trial, five-minute trial here, select a plan, 15 AI presenter prompts. So you can, I don't know what quite that one means, AI script generations. Then uh, five ninety nine a month. Here you get the API access as well, and uh, but you're still getting the watermark and so on and so on to like custom enterprise there. This is more than just the chat bit. Uh, this is more about using their presenters and creating animations. Hey, stuff are like you that. still around? Anything else on your mind? Um, no, I'm all good. Thank you. See what she says. It's available on the mobile you're phone welcome. as well. If you have any other questions or if there's anything else I can help you with, just let me know. Have a great day. You have a great day. So they have um, all these kind of presenters that they can do and you can generate your own <coughs> as well. Upload your own picture, which I did before uh, on another project. You should check out that video uh, here. I did it it's on a different channel, but you should definitely check out that video uh, where I created a character in Mid Journey uploaded it in here, used 11 labs for the voice uh, because that kind of feels more realistic than the voices they have here, um, and then kind of created my own sort of newsreader video and stuff like that. So there you go. That's a quick insight into chat DID. It's a bit fun. Yeah, it's laggy between the responses and stuff like that, but it uh, makes a change from just typing away and then reading it, you know, to have someone read back in a kind of, a kind of human type voice it does feel kind of natural there as i said there are other ai voice apps which sound more natural than this scarily natural uh, but this is a good a good go at it i say and it's just a, an interesting little application that's sitting on top of chat gpt so there you go i hope you found that useful i hope you found it interesting if you did then please please hit the likes because i like it youtube likes it and it helps people like you find content like this. And we're trying to build up this channel. It's a brand new channel. So do me the massive favor, please. That would be wonderful. Hit that subscribe button to support the channel. Toggle that notification bell. That way you'll know when I upload more content just like this. And hey, look, talking of content, why didn't you check out these over here? Um, I think you find them interesting. It's more AI stuff and it's all good stuff. So check them out. Cheers.